got off of work early tonight, man. It's, it's Friday. And I had to make this video because this thought came in my mind uh, a couple of months back. I wanted to revisit this topic and <clears throat> I think it's most fitting, you know, uh, a different perspective as you might say, but I actually want to talk about black women who are actually smart and who actually know how things work, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I'm kind of over the whole, you know, hating on black women. I think... I've really gravitated towards, you know, the black women that are kind of underrated. Actually, are very underrated. And, <clears throat> you know, uh, the black women that don't get their flowers, the black women that, you know, are nice and, you know, because society loves, you know, the promiscuous black female, the the black woman that shows her ass and all that shit, is basically, you know, a whore. The the black woman who actually is about her business, you know, who isn't in the strip clubs, who actually has a degree, and is very successful. It's not really looked at and it's not talked about as much, you know. Sure, there are many women that have degrees, but it's kind of what you do with that that makes you kind of stand out. And overall, the smart black female is... very overlooked you know I would say overlooked but not a threat to society you know now when it comes to the smart black man you know I, I've already made some points on that um, the world hates a smart black intelligent man you know, but when it comes to the smart, intelligent black woman, I really think that's also that individual is also um, a scapegoat. You know what I'm saying? Because let's face it. You ain't checking for the smart black woman. You know, you checking for the thought you ain't checking for the woman that has her shit together who doesn't have children, you know, who's in college, graduated, you know, has a job, you know, basically a rare type of black woman, you know, there are a lot of them out there and, you know, there are a lot of them that thrive, but I want that image of like the intelligent black woman to be at the epicenter of, you know, the black community, you know, it was more common in the 60s and the 70s, you know, the 80s, in the 90s, it started to die down a little bit because I think the 90s was a real, like, I wasn't born in the 90s, mind you. But I would say just judging off of, you know, my interpretation, judging off of movies and what society was like for black people. I think this was the downfall of the smart black woman, because. At that time, you know. That's when black women started to. You know. started to become what they are now, you know. I would say back then, it was like the prelude to what black women are today. 
where at first they were smart and they did have, you know, a lot of things that women my age do not have and younger. But where we're at now, it is literally a fucking blueprint to these bitches now. You know, back then, a black woman who was intelligent was literally a fucking prize. Was literally like something niggas would have actual beef over, you know. A beef or a dispute, you know, when it comes to, you know, the black woman's ideal man, back in the day, I would say before like the 70s and the 60s, was literally a smart nigga. You know, like minds gravitate towards each other. And where it really fell off was, you know, the the thug mentality, the thug, you know, the thug image. Because even the smart black women back in the day, they didn't want a smart black man who's intelligent. You know, the smart black women... You know, deep down inside, they secretly envied the thug, man. Because the thug is seen as the masculine alpha of the community. He is seen as the, the benchmark and the standard, you know. And, you know, black women, they still are. And I would say it was even more, you know, different back in the day. But black women, the black women of yesterday, man, though, now those are the real types of women I would like really like fight for. Like on some real like, you know, queen and slim type shit. Like, you know, because... You know, I don't know if you guys ever really thought about this, but probably not. But I would consider myself a very highly, I, I don't want to say highly, but I would say intelligent black man. You know, I think the types of women I'm, I know the types of women I'm attracted to the most are intelligent black women. So, if I had that in my life, man, she would be teaching me very, you know, like, intelligent, condescending, or no, not condescending, um, logical and strategic, you know, conversations about life, you know, the world, everything. We wouldn't be on the same subjects. We would talk about, you know, the Earth, the galaxy. We could even go as far as the fucking, you know, Orion's belt. We could take it that far, the Milky Way. Like, but these hoes now, man, I would say the average black woman, you know. And this is, you know, why I want a black woman that's smart. The average black woman just talks about surface value shit. Shit that I can't relate to because, you know, I've expanded my mind. Like, I'm not, like, one way in life, you know? I'm very... What's the word? Uh, intermediate, you know? I could talk about damn near anything, you know, with the smart, intelligent black woman. And, you know, I think for me, man, like, smart black women are very overshadowed. They're not really, like, desired, even sometimes even sexually, you know, depending on, like, how niggas would think if she got a fat ass and she's smart. Basically, you know, niggas would love that, but 
as far as attraction. Now, if she has like, you know, a seven out of 10 body and she's smart or a six out of 10 body, I'm still fine with that, you know, because a lot of women are uh, sapiosexual, meaning they're attracted by a man's mind. And, you know, physically, like, my appearance is, you know, it's okay. I don't slouch. You know, I'm, I'm in shape. I would say I'm not like, you know, Mike Tyson. I'm not fucking like, you know, a CrossFit nigga, but I'm in shape. So to any female, you know. My appearance is, you know, a tall built, you know, muscular. And so now when I actually talk and bring up conversations about, you know, topics that people don't really bring up, you know, I would assume women would be interested in that because... There's a variety of things that I could talk about subject-wise. So you'd think most women are sapiosexual. And with black women, smart, intelligent black women, man, like, I think they need their flowers, man, you know. They need their flowers, and to me, they're underrated, man. Like, do y'all niggas know, like, okay, the black woman created the Matrix, I really want you to think about that shit. The Matrix was not created by those two twins, nigga. It was created by a black woman. And so was the Terminator, my nigga. So if a black woman created the Matrix, you know, literally everything that we think about the Matrix is literally off, you know. And that that goes to show you black women... The right black woman could be smart as fuck. And that's what I want out of a female. I don't want a woman that... To me, this is just my personal, you know, opinion. You know, you can feel about this however you want to. But to me, I want a woman who's smarter than me. You know, I want a woman who could teach me some shit. You know, and... I think the only woman on the race, or the only, excuse me, the only race of women on God's green earth that is smarter than me is the black female. And this is why God has made us equal, you know. But in today's society where I could go to a store or whatever and I could be more desired by white women. You know, just by even going out, not even looking at them, you know, just minding my own business. Like, to me, white women are more attracted to me than black women, you know. Even smart black women, I could tell they don't even like my ass, you know. Not all of them, you know. Some of them, you may have to strike up a conversation, but it takes some to know some, you know what I'm saying. But at a point in time, man, like the older generation of black women, I would say my grandmother generation of black women were possibly the smartest women on earth. You know, you could like, you could give your opinion in the comment section, but you know, man. Black women are smart as fuck. They can be. They can be smart as fuck. But the thing is, with society telling them they have to live a certain way, and then they, you know, damage the mind of the black woman to what it is now, this is why many brothers do not get with black women. You know, even if they are smart. Even if they're not, you know, 
with all that sexy red and, you know, ice spice shit, you know. And I like ice spice, but. You know, man, like. It's one of those things where I'm like, damn, like, what the fuck happened to y'all? Like, I like y'all before, man. Like, you know. I'm speaking as, like, a nigga who is talking about black women as a whole. You know, even, like, the thoughts and all them shits. Like, black women were never, ever, in the creation of man, made into thoughts, man. Like, this behavior came from something. This behavior came from lack of... uh Lack of partnership, you know, sleeping around promiscuously and expecting a man to clean up your messes. But at a point in time, black women had their shit together, my nigga. And these types of black women, I would literally fight for. But if you fast forward to the year 2024, man. Boy, I tell you, like, black women ain't checking for me, you know, because, like I said in my previous black women video, you know, some, not all, they, they don't like a brother darker than them, you know, and this is what I call color struck syndrome, you know. Where if a black woman wants to date a man who's not dark, who is lighter than her, to me, she wants to wash, she wants to kind of wash her jeans out. She, she wants to whitewash her jeans out, you know. And I'm talking about the black women that exclusively hate niggas. Like, who literally prey on a nigga's downfall, you know, till a nigga literally, like, even dies. Like, those are the black women that I'm talking about in that sense. But overall, man, it's like, over the years, black women were very intelligent. Like, we could even go back to Harriet Tubman, you know. We could go back to the slaves that you know, braided hair and like corn rolls and shit. And the hair itself was literally a fucking map to freedom, my nick. Harriet Tubman built the Underground Railroad, my nick. Like, you know, black women knew how to, you know, feed the kids and, you know, give medicine and all that shit. Like, literally... Change somebody's like whole entire way of life, you know, give somebody some wisdom to where they could pass that down and they could literally like, you know, live in this, uh, this white man's world without a single speck of, you know, colonization without a single speck of gentrification you know that's how smart black women used to be man like you know but I think that was literally like I would say my grandmother's generation you know my grandmother's generation you know they were the last real black women I'll say that you know and I, that's why I always respect, you know, my elders to a degree, you know. But I think it kind of all went downhill after my mom's generation uh, had kids, you know. And then you have, uh, you have bitches now, you know, uh, literally... Even shit that my mom has taught, even my mom, for example, there's not a woman that has anything like half of what she has, you know. 
and I'm not saying this because I'm a mama's boy, but I'm saying this as somebody who I want a woman, I want a black woman who's smart that can teach my kids some real shit, you know, not some self-hatred inflicting, oh, your dad is a deadbeat. No, on some actual fucking like, you know, how to, you know, cook, how to fucking, you know. How to make some medicine, how to fucking like, how to sew and shit, how to literally make clothes, like, you know, not crafts and shit, but literally on some like survival tactics, you know, like if we were stranded and I was like dead, for example, and my wife could teach my children some real shit, some fucking let me save your life type shit when your dad is dead and gone type shit. That's what I'm really, you know, that's what I'm really trying to, you know, look for. But you know, man, I think every generation is different and, you know, some things cannot be repeated, you know, as sad as it is for me to say, but every tradition that your grandmother had, you know, with these bitches. Nah, man, they, they, they don't have that shit at all. You know, let alone even my mom's generation. Like, you know, you, you, you know how hard it is to find a woman who has the knowledge of my mother and the knowledge of let alone my fucking grandmother. These bitches? Man, I tell you. I tell you, man. You know, but this isn't a video shitting on, you know, smart black women. This is me literally looking for y'all. Like, where are y'all? Like, you know. But I give y'all y'all props, man, for the ones that are still, you know, Still out there, you know, like trying to not be like everything you see on fucking TikTok and YouTube and shit, you know. So I applaud the smart black women, you know, they need to get their motherfucking flowers, you know, and I'm not simping or anything. I'm just giving credit to a race of women that isn't talked about because (laughs) motherfuckers are obsessed with. Sexy Red and, you know, Ice Spice, you know. But I want to, you know, look for a woman who's not like that, you know. But I think I said my piece. I'm about to go do some homework. And, you know, man, next time you see a smart, intelligent black woman, man, who knows, strike up a conversation, you know what I'm saying? Because... This female is not even, like, you know, looked upon in society at all, you know. To a degree, but, you know what I'm saying. But, or even dirty.